Hey guys, DMV Solar Rider here. It's a beautiful day in July. I think all the rain has already come overnight and the sun is supposed to come out. Let's hope that's the case. So today we are on our way south heading to uh, Indian Motorcycle of Fredericksburg, Virginia. It's a good day today. I'm finally getting my next 5,000 mile service. I'm about 700 miles overdue. And while I'm not under the impression there's anything that's a big deal about riding past your service date and Chieftain's running great, I'm a little OCD, so <laughs> as soon as that 5,000 mile number hits, I want to get it serviced. Uh, but with COVID-19 restrictions, all the service shops are severely behind. I think Motorcycles at Dulles is down to 25% in their shop in terms of the number of employees that can be on the floor. So they were backed up, you know, towards the end of July when I made this appointment weeks ago. And Indian Fredericksburg, they do a great job. They were able to get me in a lot quicker. And I just wasn't comfortable waiting for MOD to free up a slot. So we're heading down there, we're going to get that service, and I'm going to have them put on my 2 inch handlebar risers. Watch my last video, my review of my 2019 Chieftain Dark Horse. You know, and, and all my other videos really, you know that I traded in my 2019 Indian Scout for my Chieftain. Because I got a pinched nerve in my neck. And the Scout has too forward of a, a, a riding position for me. It was just creating a lot of pain. And after doing all kinds of things to the bike to try and make it more comfortable, I basically found that the things that I was changing changed the character of riding the bike, and I didn't like it that way. So, unfortunately, I decided I had to trade my Scout in for something with a, a more natural upright seating position. And since I'm not a big fan of ADV bikes, and as a short rider, I mean, <laughs> those bikes are a lot taller than these baggers and the Scout. It just wasn't, it wasn't where I wanted to head. So I started looking at, at Indians baggers and ultimately chose the Chieftain. And while the Chieftain has been great compared to my Scout and my seating position is far more upright, uh, I was still leaning over quite a bit when I first got the bike and it was putting pressure on my back, my neck, my traps, the, the area where I get a lot of pain. So Indian Fredericksburg put on the Indian's two inch reduced reach handlebars which brought the grips back about two inches from stock and it's been very helpful. Uh, you know I can absolutely sit just about upright with these handlebars. Not 100% but pretty close. Uh, but at the same time when I do that my arms are fully extended and that's not really where you want to be when you're riding a bike. So I got a two inch handlebar risers from Rox Risers. It's called the Rox Speed FX. It wasn't made for the Chieftain but it fits on the Chieftain. And that should give me an additional two inches uh, to bring these grips back a little more which will let me sit upright and have some bend in my elbows be more comfortable for the long haul you know, here the sun is coming out so once I get these risers on my bike I may have to be out for quite some time riding you know just to break it in give it a real good assessment there's a, a ride down to Fredericksburg called that I call the Fredericksburg loop I might go do that ride after I get these risers put on it's maybe a hundred miles Guys, we are just about at Indian of Fredericksburg. All right. All right, guys, I'll see you in a few hours. All right, guys, we are heading out of Indian of Fredericksburg. Thanks to them for getting my service done for me. 
we have our two inch handlebar risers installed and wow that is a whole different feel i'll tell you right now it's probably not not quite two inches closer to me it's um the way that these risers fit on the chieftain you gotta raise them just a little bit to clear the tank so it's probably like an inch and a half but it feels way different already I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh yeah, it is so different. My reach with these risers installed is night and day different. Wow. I mean, it's so noticeable. I'm sitting perfectly upright on my chieftain and my elbows are bent, considerably bent which was an issue I had with just those two inch uh, reduced reach bars Ooh. I mean it feels so weird I like it though so we are gonna put these risers through your paces and see how it does on a nice long ride weather permitting it I don't think it's gonna rain but uh yeah we will go on a ride called the Fredericksburg Northwest Fredericksburg Loop that's whoever put this ride up and said it was worth doing is the one who named it that and as you guys may recall the my favorite website for finding ride maps and GPS coordinates and all that doesn't exist anymore. It kind of gave up the ghost, apparently. So I don't have, probably don't have an easy website to link to for this ride. But I, what I'm playing around with is using Google Drive or Google Docs. And what I can do is create a, like a public folder under DMV Solo Rider and I can put the GPX files in there and you can just download those files into your you know Google Maps to use on your phone or into your GPS device and you can get my exact routes you know even better than the uh, the old website because you know I might tailor those routes a bit if I find a twistier road I might build that in there Ooh, I like it I like it. I am totally leaning back. Not leaning back, sitting perfectly upright. Whew. That's so different. I'll tell you, as far as, you know, the pressure on my neck, my herniated disc, I think these risers were a great choice. You know, based on five minutes of use. We'll see how I feel after 100 miles, but... I mean... I'm just sitting like I'm sitting in a chair and the backrest forces me to keep my my posture straight I dig it anyways you know I'm just thrilled that I got my bike on the road I got it serviced I got 5,000 miles till on my next service look at that 4,992 miles to go. I'm really curious to see how this goes for low speed maneuvering. Does it change how the bike feels? Does it change my U turn capabilities? going to find out all these things now as far as this Northwest Fredericksburg loop I have done it before I think one time and I'll be honest I don't recall it being particularly memorable still gotta fix these mirrors Hopefully there will be some nice twisties, but I, I I just don't seem to recall there being anything in the way of twisties on this ride. 
I could be totally wrong but we'll see if it's uh if it's pretty boring it's like 121 miles if it's pretty boring I might just do the cop out and throw in some of that free YouTube music into this video and just show you the highlights whatever highlights there are because I mean it's I'm gonna be out here for a few hours I'm more interested in just riding Batteryless. I've been on the road for I don't know, probably about an hour and a half since I left the dealership, and so far so good on my two-inch handlebar risers. Definitely have improved my comfort. I'm finding that the new position is making it weird for steering. Like I got to get used to it. I've underjudged some curves and my amount of lean and push and all that. But I'm on my last battery, so I am going to leave it here. I got to figure out where I'm riding this weekend to film the next video for y'all. If you have any suggestions, put them down in the comment section. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed learning about my two inch handlebar risers, hit that like button. And if you're so inclined, I'd certainly appreciate it if you click that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. I'll try and get my videos up every Friday. 
as we figured out the other day that doesn't always happen when you have a 100 gigabyte video <laughs> anyways i'll see you on the next one